so I'm working on a bench uh, power supply I'm gonna be using a uh, LM317 this, this is a setup I put two diodes here for protection against the shortage of uh, uh, on our output uh, 5k resistor uh, to adjust uh, the voltage and some capacitor so I've put it a setup here so just to give you a demonstration how it's done uh, this I have to put a heat sink you must put a heat sink uh, otherwise you're gonna melt it on your your breadboard of your circuit over here we have a, a transformer and then we have a bridge rectify uh, LD for indicating when the power is on so, capa two capacitors for smoothing and a protection diodes over there then a 5k resistor uh, this I'm gonna put pop uh, this fan here and I'm going to control the speed uh, just by uh, adjusting the voltage and all that I'm gonna have look at my voltmeter here just to display the voltage the voltage there okay uh, first we're gonna measure the the voltage from uh, the AC voltage from the transfer okay uh, put my meter on the right, po the, the right position okay I'm gonna power the board Okay, as you see, the LED is lighting, meaning there's a power. So I'm gonna go to, uh, measure the AC. That's uh, those AC that go, goes inside the transfer. So about 230 volt. Okay, and then I'm gonna step down. It's gonna come out over here, and then we're gonna about about 19 volt, say 20 volts, uh, 20 volt there. And then we're gonna go to, uh, to our capacitors here for smoothing, and then you're gonna see the output. Okay. okay. Let's see, problem with voltmeter. Okay, so I'm gonna hook up the leads here. Uh, I'm gonna change this to uh, DC voltage. And I say, say 1.2, 1.3 volt. Okay, 1.3, 1.2 actually. So I'm gonna set uh, adjustment. So you can see I've really uh, I have control of the voltage, but just by adjusting the 5k uh, resistor here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to two. Three, four, five volt, six, all the way to okay to say twenty three. Just because uh, the capacity is full charged, so I'm gonna power this fan, and you're gonna see how I have control of it. Oh. Okay. Now we are going to start from 1.2, 3 volt, and you see it's turning but very slowly. And if I increase the threshold here, the speed also increases. It's about 2 volt now. 3 volt. 4. 5 volt. 6. about 20 volt very powerful ah, it's too powerful this thing is, is when pulling the cab the wires out here I'm gonna reduce again down put back After that, about 19 volt 
Very powerful. Anyway. So you can power uh, many things with it. Okay. And your heat sink, so you don't forget to put your heat sink. Heat sink is very important, otherwise it's going to melt down the uh, your board of your circuit. So I'm going to replace uh, the this one, uh, milk meter with the, the such, such design of a, of a LM3, LM3916 of 14 or 15, you can also use one. I'm going to use uh, this one, two of them. So I'm gonna have a total 20, 20 LEDs, and each LED is about one volt. So it's gonna uh, display uh, how much I'm using, uh, how much uh, voltage am I putting out. So um, I'm gonna show you how when it's done. Um, this is my my copper board, and I'm gonna uh, transfer the images here, etching it, and then I'm gonna test, and then you're gonna see how it's all done. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can go and build your own uh, bench uh, power supply. You can for testing such uh, small components and stuff like that, and you'll be able to see also uh, to see the output uh, uh, voltage. So um, uh, I'm gonna use uh, this just LD, and then I'm gonna use another uh, using uh, such uh, LD displays. Uh, later on, but for now, I'm just gonna use LD just to show you. If you don't have such design of no experience, you can simply use uh, uh, LDs just to display. This is one I'm gonna be using, so each is about 10, called 20. This kind of LD is gonna be using. So stay tuned and uh, wait for more.